Hey there, I'm Ben Kirby and this is Watch Ben Work. In this video you're going to see me assemble a hope chest that I'm giving to a cousin for uh, Christmas. So. so here we have the uh, components for the chest. Uh, this is poplar, 1x4. Uh, this here is a marble tile going to be an accent you know, around the middle of the chest. I found this really cool stuff here. That'll be on the top. So I've used uh, half inch birch plywood and this will be the interior of the box. I've already ripped it down and cut the pieces for my box six and a heavy half now I'm gonna put it together this stain uh, this uh, I want this to wrap around the front edge of the cabinet so I'll make my first cut this corner here now I want to cut that next one dead on that line top part. Now I got a band for the bottom. And this piece. Before I go gluing and nailing anything on, I like to just touch it up a little. Now's the time you can get all the little boogers off, you know. So when it comes time to finishing it, you're not in there. Blue is good. So, 
I've added a two inch band around the underside of the first and then the second here close it in That way, that marble will sit in just like that. And I left this here so I can build out a base. Let me run by what wasn't shown. Uh, you had the initial box on the inside here. And then we had these pieces here. And this piece ran an inch longer than the box. This is a two inch gap. This is a two inch rip down of the half inch ply. For that to fit. This here is simply a three quarter by three quarter to help create detail and uh, a lid and to uh, cover the exposed plywood edge. And then this piece here tucks under the inch overhang, gives me a three quarter by three quarter. And then I put little nailer blocks in here and attached four feet. Now, the lid is determined by the size of the tile, which really determines the size of the box, so that we have an equal amount on the edges here. This is a piece of three inch that I grooved out in order to meet the half inch here. And then that's capped by this here. Which allows it to sit in there and still have the reveal. I don't think I'm going to stain it. I think I'm just going to clear coat it because of the uh, the grain color that I have. Usually I clean these off, get all the dust off with uh, mineral spirits. It evaporates the small dust and helps collect it on the cloth. So yeah, that'll be real pretty. So, a little more cleaning. Sand it with a thousand grit and then be ready for a first coat of poly and we'll get the towel on so since I had this overnight uh, sitting here and I had time to think about it I'm changing up the color and we're going to stain it uh, I just think the, the browns in this on the top and the natural stone color too much of a contrast with the green so we're going to use a dark walnut and I already did a tester piece. And that's what it's going to come out to, which I think goes almost perfect with that brown. So with staining, uh, you always want to be with the grain of the wood. You never want to stain this way when the grain's going this way. And you want to be real careful not to smudge areas that you're not completely staining because... It won't go away. That's the point. It's a stain. And you don't want a big fingerprint in the middle of a nice section there. So let's get started.